So I think it's time to merge. We're gonna merge our baseball bat, Scout Boys. Look at that, aluminum baseball bat. Today we're gonna be fighting some of the most powerful stickman armies that have ever existed. And the only reason that we're gonna be able to fight them is because I'm creating one of my own. Look at these guys. This guy's named the Smasher. This guy's also named the Smasher, but this one has a utility belt, which means level three, he's better. These little guys have explosive bombs on their back. These guys have baseball bats, but this Love guy's that. my pride and joy, the Commando, a giant with a minigun. So, how are we gonna do? We've got guys teleporting behind us. Oh God, they're hacking up my big giant. But whenever he fires his minigun, huh? he seems to, oh my God, he's dead. I'm angry. The big giants are able to slam the ground and do a lot of damage that way, but we need to come up with some kind of a strategy to deal with the units that are deploying behind us. Let's go to recruit a new soldier. All right, we need to get about six, 7,000 more gold in order to unlock a sergeant pack. Let's go to our barracks. Can we merge deploy on there? He'll merge. Yeah, this is one of those games where you kind of merge your units together to make them even more powerful. And this is sort of how we build out our stickman army. But right now we're limited to like this three by three grid in terms of the units that we can place on the battlefield. And I don't know what level I have to get to to unlock even more battlefield spaces and build my army up to become huge. All I know is that I just love the art style. Okay, we've got a nuke special ability. Merge up these guys. I think I just like increased their magazine size. So maybe they'll be able to shoot more. But there are so many units here. Look at this. Currently, I've got baseball bats, rifles, big giants, giants with miniguns, and engineers. But there are so many other units out there. Like, this guy's got a jetpack and an Uzi. Level 126. We're only at level 37. Three giants. I wonder if we should put our giants on the front or the little baseball bat boys. Maybe it would make sense to put the giants on the front so they'll soak up more damage. So that we can... Because right now, whenever we lose a little baseball bat guy, like, yeah... It's only one guy, but that's a little bit of damage that we could be doing that we're no longer doing. So let's just do a quick shift of strategy and see if we fare better. Basically, we're gonna be able to tell if we're doing better by the fact that more of our guys are alive at the end of the battle than at the beginning. And we should be able to move through these battles quicker. I think this is working. It definitely seems like it's working. Now we're about 3000 away from getting a sergeant pack. All right, they've got a giant. No teleporters, no. Wait a minute. Oh, anytime a guy has a shovel and a gas mask, he teleports, which means they're very, very deadly. I feel like those guys are the bane of my existence. Yes. Oh no, we are like, we are hundreds short. It's level 40 though. So this should unlock us a chest. Shovely boys behind us, we are, we're gonna lose maybe a decent amount of our range units. Uh-oh, they've got a lot of range units themselves. If my minigun guy can survive and take out a few of their riflemen, I think we win. Which is definitely what just happened. Yes, okay, the chest. Unlock the chest. What is in it? A common engineer. But we've unlocked another line. Okay. And we got another common engineer, so we should be able to merge them. All right, so now we got a level three and a level three. Level threes become level four. They <laughs> get gloves. I feel like visually they should have something a little bit cooler than that, but hey. Let's unlock a few. Ooh, sapper. And a veteran? And just a regular guy with a baseball bat. All right, so we're definitely gonna have to merge. This is awesome. So the veteran, the sapper guy, he will teleport behind their lines. Finally, we have the weapon of the enemy. I feel like Boromir right here having first found the ring. Why don't we use the weapon the enemy's using? I know it's a little bit controversial right now. Some people are like, oh, I don't like the new Lord of the Rings show. Some people love it. I'm in the category that's loving it. I just feel like a third giant, I could merge them to make them marginally better. But at this point, I'm not sure it makes too much sense. We do have a ton of engineer troops though, which we're gonna have to be mindful of. The battle's definitely going well. Oh yeah, three giants, look at that. Not one has been defeated. We don't even need to use the nuke. Now the radio is a special power to call in reinforcements. The med pack obviously heals my troops and the nuke eliminates every enemy on the battlefield but I just kind of have a good feeling that this army is going to be able to take me to like at least level 46, somewhere between 46 and 50. So now it's time to see if we can do it. Any teleporters? And we do. It's so fun to be on the other side of things, able to shovel people in the back because it distracts their range units from firing at my front line. 
and I feel like that definitely helps it. I mean, doesn't it? Like every time bullets aren't fired at you, you're happier. I think that definitely goes without saying. They have some teleporters now. But they don't teleport. Jeez, they've got so many veterans firing Kalashnikovs at us and then like riflemen behind that. This is a ranged heavy force. Luckily we do have tanky giants, otherwise I think we would have been defeated. But this is 45. I do have enough to unlock another one. I'm so far away from a general pack anyway. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Look at these guys, they're hacking up the engineers. I don't think they know that the engineers are gonna drop bombs in their face. What happens if you get a guy with a jetpack? I'm curious to know if melee units can no longer hit them. Oh wow, we got fancier wrenches, cool. Guess I could buy another veteran. I'm curious about a medic. Buy some of these, I got the gems, right? So I'm gonna merge all of them down and I'm gonna deploy this guy. Hey, medics, get your little helmets. I think we have a pretty potent firing line. Oh God, all right, so the medics, are we gonna be seeing, it looks like they got pistols. Oh, there we go. Okay, they throw little grenades. And then you'll see like the little classic video game green aura of healing, which is kind of funny to think that green is the color of healing. When you think about it, I feel like in the real world, green is often associated with like plague and disease and uh, not being healthy. But in video games, it's always healing. It's either that or red. Then again, I'm pretty sure like pharmacies and hospitals in Europe or at least Spain are like green green crosses, right? Okay, we should be able to mop the floor with this battle. That little rifle guy in the back on their side. Hey, can you not feel the dude scratching your back with a blade? There's the healing grenades. Oh, they're not grenades at all. They're like, they're throwing like little uh, red and blue pills like Tylenols. Level 50, the big kahuna. And it's kind of neck and neck right now. Okay, we're starting to get some momentum. Dude, they, they haven't even shot at my little guy with the shovel. <laughs> I wonder, I wish you could tell how many people, like how many kills each of your units got, sort of like in a review screen. Cause it really show you, ooh, nice. Aha, utility belt upgrades. Yeah, I've got, I could merge the giants and I could merge these baseball bat guys, but I'm not doing that yet because I don't really have anything to replace them with just yes. Oh man, lots of teleporters on their side. But veterans are really good at killing them. And medics are making this force something to be reckoned. Force to be reckoned, right? That's the amount of money we were behind. Hey, they put baseball guys in the back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to see that level again, because I need to see how they did it. Level 52, what was their initial formation? Okay, three lines of baseball balls. Most retreat. Oh, this time, wait a minute, what the heck? I wasn't expecting that. Let's try that again. Did you see what just happened? The first time, three guys went to fight Shovel Boy. The second time, none did. And the third time, one did. So these battles play out a little bit differently each time, which is honestly really, really cool. I like that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Tabs. Now, obviously, this is not a physics-based battle simulator. Hey! So I think it's time to merge. We're gonna merge our baseball bats, scout boys. Look at that, aluminum baseball bats. Not a lot, okay. Yeah, see one baseball bat guy is slapping my shovel, dude. Oh, we've broken through their lines. It, this battle's already over. It was over before it began. I'm kind of wondering when I'm gonna be able to use my nuke and what I'm gonna wanna use it on because I tend to like hold on to my special ability, you know, for a rainy day, but what kind of rainy day happens where you need a nuke? I mean, we might find out. Yeah, my front line always seems to be very, very dominant. I haven't encountered a front line that's as strong as ours. And in most cases, my giants survive until the end. Our goal here is to get to level 60. And as you're watching this, if you're like, you know what? This little stick army game is pretty cool. I'd like to see more. Well, you know what to do. It'd be kind of cool if it was like a, a tabletop battle simulator. Like all those dudes with rifles, like if you got an officer or a drummer or something to like compliment them to make them even better. So we're at level 56. Now Arena right here is playing online. Oh, and they do it by seasons. They are already in season 19? Today's challenge is remaining. Opponent's best troops. Level five, level three, level three. I think 
we can beat Minty Skies. Minty Skies, prepare... Oh, God. Yeah, prepare to die. Now, his baseball bats guys are significantly upgraded, but I feel like what we m lack in quality, we can easily make up for in quantity. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Sorry, Minty Skies. I have achieved glorious victory. So we got 30 points. Now we're the 4,516th best player. Entire game. That's pretty cool. I think we got this guy too. I am noticing a lot of people putting baseball bat guys on their bat on their back line, which does make sense. Baseball bat guys are the cheapest. How many battles would I have to fight to get to be the best around? Oh my god! This is a new unit. They got aviator glasses and shotguns. I want I didn't know that was a unit in the game. I want that. Oh, and you can use special units on multiplayer battles too? Oh, that was level 56. Wait, was that multiplayer? Guys, I, I think I played a regular battle thinking it was a multiplayer battle. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Okay, well now that I know exactly what I'm doing, they've got medics too. Their giant had like much better armor than mine, but I got two other ones, so that's good. All right, so we're at 27.1 thousand. I'm not sure if fighting online gives me any currency at all. Never give up. You may never give up, but that doesn't mean I'll never win. In fact, I don't need you to give up for me to win. I just need you to die, Mr. Bond. These multiplayer battles are easy. I feel like after playing a number of them, I'll probably tear up. Like, not like cry, guys, but like my tear will go up. Hey, another smasher. We'll upgrade this smasher. Yeah. All right, well, we wanted to get to wave 60. Lots of shotgun guys. They're really kind of cool. I love their helmets. I, I don't know. There's just something of all guns. Shotguns are just really cool. There's just something about pumping and shooting lead down range, you know? Hey, we unlocked the sergeant. Excellent. I want one, but I don't have one. My new favorite unit is one that I might not even be able to acquire. Well, I mean, I'll be able to acquire, but I, I won't have them for I don't know how long. Uh-oh, one of my giants just got crumbled. Maybe the sergeants with their shotguns are pretty good at killing giants. Oh man, if my shovel guy could have beaten that little baseball bat guy, we would have been able to turn this battle quick. Or like, what if you could upgrade this guy's minigun so he fires faster? Like a water-cooled minigun. That's what I need. So then he doesn't have to like, stop firing. And level 60 the day is finally here. So, I mean, we've fought some very, very powerful stickman armies. This one has a lot of those little dudes with the axes, which are some of the coolest ones. Okay, I don't know what happened, but like everybody in the middle, I feel like died quicker than normal. I'm not sure why, but they did. Victorious! And we get a chest, which gets me a veteran. I'd have to fuse my giants, and I'm just not ready to do that right now. If you guys do want to see more battles with the biggest, and strongest stickman armies of all time? Well, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.